All right, so welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I had a lot of life stuff going on, but things are back in order where I should be able to start making more content soon. What I'm gonna do today in this video is go over my single pump setup. Let's get into it. So with this build, uh, it's basically keeping it simple. Uh, how to get a, a fully rad RC without going completely crazy. Uh, it is a single pump setup. So there's only one hop servo in the front. If you're gonna have only one hop servo, the servo to have is the Jevry's True Hop Super Pump. This is the fastest, most power producing servo uh, combination that I've run in these low riders and as far as the hop servos go bang the idea with this build was to make something that's going to be actually a slower hopper than the other builds that I've got going I want to start to juice them up and really get them set up to bang bumper they tend to you know bounce really really fast and it's it's great for competition and stuff and you know showing the power but it's a little bit less realistic when it comes to you know how these cars actually you know drive in the real world and whatnot so when it comes to a gas hopping if you have too much weight in the back uh, the car is going to tend to want to you know sit on the bumper and just drag the bumper the nose isn't going to come back down so having a, a very very light back end Really make sure that the car doesn't, you know, stall on the bumper while gas hopping or just generally hopping at all. So as you'll notice, uh, the gas tank <clears throat> has been removed, so there's no weight inside there. There is um, weights inside the gas tank. I'm sorry, not the gas tank, the trunk pan. But there's been uh, two weights removed, so I think there's in total five or six plates inside there. There's no weights on top but it is a, a hefty battery. So you do have to, you know, adjust the weight balance based on the size of the battery that you got in there. But with the body on, and this jacked up. Hold on. Uh, it will never actually sit on the bumper. It just doesn't have the weight to allow it. So with that, uh, when gas hopping, you know, it doesn't, you know, drag on the bumper uh, or stall there. It always comes back down. So it's uh, great for a street build. This isn't a competition build. So as you'll notice, there's There's no external BEC. There's just the uh, Hobbywing G2. There's just the Hobbywing G2 BEC set at 8.4 volts. It's a very low amp setup. It's like four to five amps. Uh, I do have a capacitor, capacitor to help with that. So there's no external back. Uh, other than that, it's a single pump. Nothing fancy on 3S. With the uh, the Jevry Super Pump, uh, as far as these lowrider RCs banging these hop hopping situations, the Super Pump it's the, the the fastest, strongest combination servo, which seems to be the ideal setup for uh, these lowriders. So Super Pump with the short horn flip servo setup, giving the most uh, snap off the pump. Got to do the flip servo mod so that the, the gear is on the forward side. I'm running the Jevry's super short servo horn and space is very, very tight here. You have to run a short horn as short as possible with the short arm to work on the pull rod. And as you can 
see right there, clearance is very, very, very tight. So something you have to work on. Steering servo, the A35BHM is the King Kong as far as steering servos go. This is the, the baddest one you can put inside. The strongest, fastest, longest lasting and full aluminum. It's the, the nicest piece. Uh, in the rear, it uh, depends on how rad you want your back end to be. These are some basic uh, A81BHPs from AGFRC. Um, they're roughly around a little bit less powerful than a, 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 a Reese 300. Uh, black case, gold case, same thing, but just around the same power, but a little bit, maybe a little bit less. So, I mean, it's not designed to have the, the highest ups, the most crazy shit. We do have a 3S pack in the back. We are running the Hobbywing 1080 G2. So we have the uh, 3S capability, but this ESC also can run uh, the internal back at 8.4 volts. The, the, the drawback to running the internal back is that it's very amp limited. So I think it's around four to five amps max, and then this thing will start to brown out. Now with one super pump, you're you're maxing this thing out. So you're not gonna actually be able to power the super pump as strong as you would if you had an independent Beck giving it a, an amp limit of 10 amps. But for a basic build, you know what I mean? If you're not trying to win competitions, this is actually with just the internal Beck will hop just fine. Uh, a capacitor on the ESC. So if there is any, you know, high demand loads, the capacitor will help. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna it's not going to replace a, a 10 amp bank. The motor is original. Uh, the shocks are the internal shock setup that I do. The scale look shocks with internal springs, both front and rear. And the setup in the front is very critical. So you get that, that hopping action. They got to be fairly stiff. And if you set them up, just like I do in the video, these are the ones that we set up. So, I mean, You'll see how they work. They're perfect for this type of a build. Uh, not a competition hopper, but like, you know, a street machine boulevard bang, bang or something like that. Just a single pump setup. Oh yeah. One critical thing when it comes to doing these kind of builds where, you know, you're gonna be hopping the car and whatnot is to do the flip drive shaft mod. Now in my video, I show it being done on, on the, um, on the uh, a factory original drive shaft, but these uh, aluminum drive shafts that we've been using, you round them out basically the same principle, and it's a, uh, you can see right there, nice smooth free wheel action when it's up, and then once you you know lower the the, the suspension, it engages the drive shaft. That's a critical thing in order to get that free wheel action for the uh, hopping. Very simple build like that. It, uh, it jumps around, bounces around, and really has that good uh, street style performance.
feels real good uh, with that 1080 ESC. Let's see there, we got uh, 8.4 volts on the ESC. And she is one fast servo. Now we also have to get the uh, AGF RC programmer in order to turn it up to 100, which I suggest to do. It'll also work on the rear servos if you decide to use either AGFRC rear servos or uh, gate pumps. My plan for this build, of course, is to put some gate pumps in the back end, as I think those are the best servos for the rear end, but that's going to be coming in the future when I can get my hands on some. <laughs> so with that, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. I hope you can just enjoy seeing what you can do with a single pump setup. You don't need to do the whole dual crazy stuff. This isn't for competitions or, you know, trying to break records. This is for just them dudes that, you know, want to get their low rider functioning in a snappy way. Because, I mean, the factory setup is not so bad in the front, but, I mean, the rear servos are kind of slow. This just, you know, really makes the, the kit perform a little bit more uh, snappy and more powerful and you know, if you want to go slow up and down you can you don't have to go super fast but just give you that ability to make this thing bounce around all sweet like that so with that i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i'm going to be putting some more stuff together i got some cool stuff to, to show show you guys so with that i hope to see you in the next one and uh thanks for watching